in the world of parkour. I'm known for pushing the limits of what's possible with the human body. Which means I've had great success. But it's also come along with a crazy bunch of fails. You broke something? Fortunately, I've always managed to avoid serious injury or come away with the bare minimum for how catastrophic the fail was. Never longer than three months off the sport, I usually bounce back within a matter of weeks. Straight back into the send. <laughs> Little did I know that this time, everything was going to be different. We were shooting Oath, the latest instalment in the Capstone collection. Capstone is an acclaimed parkour brand that's known for pushing the magnitude and the difficulty of the sport to the next level. In the first capstone project, I did the side flip precision to the lip, and that kicked off the best year of training I've ever had. Oh shit! What's up? You nutcase! You fucking nutcase! I thought, going back to the same spot and leveling it up with a vortex front would be a clear indicator of progression. Perhaps harder than the bloody jump. <laughs> and it would set me up for a banger year of training. Yeah, dummy. I, I even like spun funny. You did spin funny. Yes. That's a good sign. Actually yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's on. It was a little tricky to get warmed up, but once I did the first send, I knew I was in the zone. That is nice, huh? Yeah, better. That's what you're looking for. My main concern was pulling up short. But once I did a few more checks and I could spot yeah, yeah, my landing, sure. I knew I was ready. 360, I'll be up there, in the middle. Pop into the front, open up the landing. This is the last thing I remember. I have about 20 to 30 minutes of memory loss. Quick warning, what you're about to see is pretty intense. You will see me clearly hit my head and you will hear audio of me having a seizure. But don't worry. All right, ready? Are you okay? Tom? Tom? Are you okay? Hey. Oh my God. Hey, 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 you okay? It's alright? You're alright? You're alright? Let me sign, let me sign. Let me sign, let me sign. Tom, Tom, Tom. Call the ambulance. Call the ambulance. Call. Get the rest position. I'm yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Tom, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay, dude. Hey. Hey, man. You're okay. You're good. You're good. You're all good. You're all good. Yeah, he's got his eyes open now. He's, he's Somewhat. Hey, his eyes are now you're opening. Right. You're alright. You just stay there. Yeah. Okay? But you're okay. Just take your breath. Yeah, I know you're uncomfortable. But you've yeah. got to stay on the ground for the moment, okay? Just got to watch your neck. So if you can... Yeah, yeah. Pull me up, pull me up, pull me up. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. Please, 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 please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just tell me you hit your head. Just tell me you hit your head. I've just got to keep your head for the moment, alright? Yeah. 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 Gotta be safe, just in case. Um, yeah, we can go to the other one. You hit your back really quite hard. You gotta dump the train. Is that just a safe save? Yeah. He's just struck. Yeah. No movement, no movement. Yeah, I know, I know. You're alright, yeah, you're, right. you're right. You're nice and safe. I know, I know it's awful. It's really hot here as well. I know, I know. But you hit your head pretty hard, okay? You're just okay, mate. Hi, bro, I'm one of the doctors, yeah. hey? Just here. Just take deep breaths for us, just rest. Do you know where we are? Doing a good job. Do you know where we are? The camp. The camp? Finalists. No, no, it's okay. You're okay, mate. It's okay. Just breathe. Hey, hey just line it up. No, no, you can't. Need down, you, can't. Mate. you need to stay down. It's all right, man. Just leave it. Hey, it's, it's me and Sam. We're here and we're on a capstone shoot. No, no, stay. I need you. No, 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 Dom, 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 you need to stay still. 
Tom, I'm telling you, you have to. You have to stay still. Okay, we're on capstone shooting. Just on his head. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. You're fine. Okay, you're fine. You'll, you'll be, just you'll stay. Be, just relax, fine. though. Dom, oh, please leave go me there. Okay, I will. Okay, you just stay there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All good. Oh, just, Dom, don't try and stand. Dom. Dom, you're fine. Just lay down. Just stay. Dom, Dom, Dom. Stay down. Dom. I don't feel comfortable laying down. Okay. All right. Okay. And then, I woke up, in an ambulance. They rushed me to hospital. Turns out I only fractured my rib and I had a concussion. They cleared me of all head trauma. After 24 hours, against their advisement, I signed myself out and I was back on the streets, ready to get back into it, just like usual. Rick, did you have any apprehension about getting back into a race car after that? Well, no, not really, Ned. Uh, you know, I, I was only in the hospital about a day, and I came back out on Tuesday and got back in the race car. And I think if I'd had trouble, I'd have experienced it then. Uh, to me, it wasn't that bad of an accident, just sim for the simple reason that after the first uh, flip, I blacked out. I don't really remember all the rest of it. I haven't looked at any photographs of it and haven't looked at it on film. So to me, it's not that bad, and it's something that it's not that hard for me to have to overcome because I simply didn't see it. I think Ricky sums it up perfectly. I don't have any trauma simply because I don't remember it. This is verbatim what I was saying to my friends after the accident. I can't really remember the event, so it doesn't feel very traumatic being back here. It was like four meters, probably, onto my head here. Yeah, it's pretty horrendous. <laughs> and usually that's what my headspace is around recovery. Dude, that's level. <laughs> it's completely level with my takeoff. <laughs> if you told me to 360 front level that far, there's no way in a million years I could have done that. But uh, somehow I've pulled it off here. Yeah, very confusing. Just land there. The preps were fine. Could have just landed there. After four or five weeks rest, I decided I was ready to get back into movement. It seemed like it was all coming along really well until one misstep. Oh. I felt the shock wave through my entire body. This set me back substantially in my recovery. I uh, took a little gash out of my hand. But I had another trip coming up. And over the time there, there was glimmers of hope. The ribs were clearly feeling better, but the rest of my body was kind of playing catch up and my old ankle injuries were flaring up again. Oops, really not feeling like and by the time I came home, I was starting to feel defeated. To be really honest, it was getting to the point where it was affecting my mood day to day. I was leaving the house less and the pessimistic thoughts were kind of overwhelming. All these years of falling and repetitive injury that I didn't heal properly, were they compounding? I see a lot of athletes who get to this high level and become obsessed with the high performance aspect. If that sounds insane, it's because it is. It's really easy to feel like you're building this external expectation and internally you're pushing for more and more and trying to always do better and bigger. And with everything happening, I found myself losing the desire and the hunger to push to that next level. I had to stop and think, why do I train? When I started parkour, it was never with any rules or expectations. I simply did it because it was fun and the friendships I formed along the way were incredibly meaningful. So I adjusted my headspace. I started taking joy in going to the gymnastics center, using the soft surfaces and not overloading my body. I tried to put myself in more of a mentor position with the younger athletes and push them towards their goals. Next lesson, big front flips. Yes! Yes. Oh, Woo! Well done, Charlie! And I've still got trips coming up in the horizon, so I thought, let's just take the pressure off, go enjoy myself, as much as I could. Enter Jan Lange from Free Running Schlafen.
Jan and I have been friends for a very long time and I consider him to be one of the only people in the world that can play big front flip consistently with me. One day I want to do Vortex, I swear. A few weeks before the trip, Jan pitched to me to do this 10 meter behemoth front flip together in his hometown. It is definitely possible, but it's fucked. And yeah, now I thought maybe if you come, we've got a good, a few good sessions in, a few big fronts, it might be possible. I mean, if you say it's possible, it's definitely possible. I, I've, I've had like touchy ankles for the last month, so I'm less confident at the moment, but I'm sure by the time I come over there, I'm going to be at full tilt again. Now, I was putting on a brave face. I was hoping my encouragement and my gas would get Jan to do it and I could quietly step away and say no in the shadows. I really didn't think I'd be capable of doing my biggest front flip with the way that my body and my mind had been performing. But once we got to Essen, we had to go and take a look. This is the behemoth he's talking about, all the way from above that roof down onto the sand pit. This thing was massive. Looking up at it, it didn't even seem like a real possibility. You are tiny up there. Yeah, it's pretty fucked. I went up to the top and I, I felt the doubt setting in. First look, I'm, I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> a lot more drained than I would like to be to do something at full capacity. But uh, we'll keep playing the game a little bit and see if we can sum up the courage. It does help. Is this too risky? Am I too old? Can my body even handle that much force at this stage? I know that I've done this a thousand times, but doing this one would be a step above the rest. Maybe I should just pass the torch to Jan and let him continue the front flip legacy. Nah, fuck that. I'm not done. Not by a long shot. Three, two, let's go. One. Oh. After achieving this life goal and performing again at my physical peak, I realized the big sense, they come and go, but enjoying using my body and creating memories with my friends and the community, that's forever.